Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. If you're going to come in and sit down and hang out, grab your coffee or your tea. We'll have some coffee and tea together. Chit chat this morning. It's Wednesday. Whatever that means to you. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Leanne. Thank you. Hi, Kristen. Good morning, Kathleen. Thank you, Patricia. Good morning, Julie. I have coffee. I have a just a hot coffee. It's um beans from Sprouts. It's like Sprouts is one of the groceries down here and they have whole coffee beans and these ones are caramel flavored. So mm, we just um grind them in like a little mini grinder that's over at the coffee station and then do pour over to brew them and then I poured in like a tablespoon of this uh, caramel oat milk creamer and that's it that's all that's in there it's very tasty it smelled amazing this morning get me up and moving thank you guys good morning Teresa, you're supposed to have a day off, but now you have to work because you were off yesterday. Aw. I'm sorry. It'll go by fast. Thank you, Helen. Thank you, Jolie. Thank you, Charlotte. Angela, you're having tea? What are you guys having with me? Are you guys having a cup of coffee or a cup of tea with me? I love that. Oh, happy birthday, Sissy. 76. I am 45. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. So I woke up, um, like for reals woke up, like I woke up earlier to use the, the restroom, but I think I woke up at nine o'clock and then stayed up and what was scrolling TikTok for a while, watching some videos. There's a few people on there that I've really been enjoying following lately. Um, and then, Bambi, today is your birthday too. Happy birthday, 75. Happy birthday. And then Anna woke up and she is going to eat real quick and then she's going to make me some breakfast, which is super sweet. Yogurt parfait. Yogurt parfait. Who's having yogurt parfait? Oh, Oh, I think I have an. I think you just yeah. The toast, the to, the toast. <laughs> I'll have a yogurt parfait later, because the toast will be enough. Because that's three pieces of. She's making me fancy avocado toast, and then Aaron's making me an egg in a basket. Have you guys ever had egg in a basket? Or I don't know. Everybody calls it something different. Egg and toast. Egg in a hole. It's where you take a, a piece of bread and you cut a hole in the center of it and you put the egg in the hole and then you pan fry it like that with the egg in it. And so you end up with like egg in a basket is what I always called it growing up. My dad used to make it and now Aaron makes it for us. Toad in a hole, Leanne, that's what you call it. <laughs> toad in a hole. Robin's nest. Oh, wow. There's another toad in the hole. Hmm. Everybody's got a different, different kind of name for it. That's interesting. Chelsea's having a cup of coffee with chocolate pecan creamer. Ooh. Thank you, Chelsea. Your grandma used to make them, Carol. They're good. I really like them. I prefer it to rather than having like toast and egg separate for some reason it tastes better when it's implanted into the bread. I don't know why <laughs> I don't know why that is, it's but <laughs> it seems to have more flavor that way somehow. Chicken in a basket. <laughs> that would make sense. It's a baby chicken. Thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. 
Anna's having an egg sandwich. And regular water. So, and my dad called already this morning, so I talked to my dad for a little bit. He call, I missed his call because I was getting dressed, and so he left me a wonderful singing telegram voicemail, <laughs> singing me happy birthday. And then I called him back, and I got to talk to him for a little bit, so that was nice. And um, I know that Anna has some gifts for me at some point. You. Mostly for me. I think my husband does as well. I have a card here from my older daughter. And then my son said that he's waiting on one more thing to arrive. And then he's going to send my birthday stuff. So that, that will come later. So it'll be an extended birthday present well, opening. Dad was trying to send Oh, yeah, my dad was sending me um, smoked salmon from the smokehouse up north in Michigan that I love so much. Uh, there's a smokehouse up in Frankfurt, Michigan, and they have um, this smoked salmon there that's really wonderful. And so he found out, he was driving by, and he found out that they ship. They have a big sign that says, we ship anywhere. And so he's like, perfect, I want to ship some to my daughter for her birthday. Well, I guess they called him this morning, and so they were going to ship it out today, and I guess it was going to arrive today, like one day. I don't know how they managed that, but somehow. And um, they said that they couldn't ship it today because they ship through UPS, and UPS went on strike. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, like what the heck? So he was like, well, just as soon as you know they're not on strike anymore, ship it to her. So that'll come later, too. <laughs> So, yeah, and all of UPS is on strike. Isn't that crazy? Excuse me. Well, maybe not all of UPS, maybe just the drivers, but they're, you know, a pretty big part of that, <laughs> that whole process. <laughs> kind of hard to ship things around without them, huh? So thank you guys. Thank you all so much. Um, my sister, one of, one of my sisters used to work for UPS when she was young and she was going to college and she was one of the people who loaded the trucks with packages. So like schlepping all of the packages onto the trucks and boy, did she get buff doing that because huh? they load them up. They have to load them up really fast. They work in like the wee hours of the morning. And they, they spend a few hours just loading boxes onto trucks. And she had some pretty toned arm muscles at that point in her lifetime. <laughs> oh. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. When did you start working now? Hmm? No, Sophia, I, I'm not, I haven't opened anything yet because it's still really early in the day. We're just getting moving. Anna's eating breakfast. Um, they're working on making my breakfast. And then she has classes. So we we'll probably won't do any presents until this evening after everybody's done with their kind of daily responsibilities. I still have work to do. I still have to get some things done today. And stuff that I would have done yesterday, but places were closed, so I have to make some phone calls, and um, I have to pay some couple bills for some other AMCers today from the nonprofit, and um, place a few orders, and just ten more days until Janelle takes the next medicine. Ten more days, yeah. Statistics. Thank you, Tammy. Yeah, business as usual, pretty much, Robin. It's not like, I don't know. It's not going to be that much different than any other day, other than I'll get some presents and I get, and, and uh, yeah, that's, about, I don't know. <laughs> rainbow popsicle and yogurt parfait. Am I going to have a rainbow popsicle? Oh. And yogurt parfait. And yogurt parfait? Mm -hmm. Wow. Martha says, I heard it was because the drivers want AC installed. Well, that doesn't seem like an unreasonable ask whatsoever. Yeah, that's, uh, 
That seems like why isn't it already in? Why isn't it already installed? Like, come on. That's not there should be AC in no. every driver's car. Thank you, Janine. Happy early birthday to you on Friday. Thank you, Connie. So yeah, let's hang out for a bit. Grab a coffee or a tea if you have some time to sit and chat. Ask me some questions or tell me what you want to talk about. We've got we've got some time. I got some time to sit here and spend. Arlene says that must be why you see some of them driving with their doors open trying to cool off. Yeah, if they don't have AC then it totally makes sense. Or windows down. Right, because they you're right, Anna, they don't have windows that they can just roll down at the sides or anything. Well, Wendy, you got your coffee. Good. Rona's well, got coffee. Good. Um Oh, Chris has hot chocolate. That works. <laughs> Leanne says, please put out some drinks for delivery drivers. It really helps. Yeah, I was just watching, actually, a TikTok video. There was, um, I think he might have been, or no, he was an Amazon driver. Uh, showed up to deliver a package to an um, older woman and started having heat stroke on her porch. Like, he had to sit down on the ground. He was really dizzy. He was not feeling well. Uh, she came out. She's got, like, a cane walker, you know. She's worried about, you know, taking care of herself, and, and all of a sudden she's worried about him. It was the sweetest, sweetest video. This woman was just so kind. She came over, and she's, like, checking on him, like, are you okay? What can I do, you know? And he's probably like, oh, I'm not feeling well. And she's like, hold on, I'll go get you some water, right? So you see her leave her cane outside on the porch and go back in the house. And meanwhile, he lays down because he's that dizzy. And she comes back out with a glass of water and she has him take a big drink. And she also had a wet rag and she starts like wetting down his head and his neck and everything for him. It was just the sweetest. And she gave him, juice. And she gave him, she get well, no. So, so then she goes back in the house and she comes out with a slice of watermelon. And she's like, here, you need to eat this. And so he's eating the watermelon. He's drinking the water. Uh, he like it revived him enough that he could stand up. He uses her cane to stand up and then she takes him in the house and like lets him sit in the air and probably has him finish the water and the watermelon and everything. And, and then like 15 minutes later, he was feeling better and he leaves and goes about his his day. <laughs> it was just it was like one of the sweetest videos. Like, how kind is that woman? Watermelon would be hydrating, yeah. And well, and Aaron said the sugar, you know, the little little burst of sugar that you get from the watermelon can also help, right? kind of Are you? perk you up. So thank you, Elaine, for sprinkling. I appreciate that. That'd be great if everybody could hit the little white button and sprinkle this video around so people know that we're on. In case they would like to join us. The white curvy arrow. I've heard that people leave coolers on their porch with waters and Gatorade. That's really sweet, Carol. I have seen people do that as well. Even sometimes snacks. Well, I know my son, um, he's working a job right now where he's out in the heat a lot and I was telling him I'm like you need to get one of those big two gallon like water containers you know the ones with the spigot and fill that with like half ice and half water <coughs> every morning and put it in your vehicle so that you can just fill your water bottle with it all day long because you know what happens is He's like running out the door and he grabs a couple of, you know, like plastic water bottles or whatever. Those don't last very long. And then you're busy doing work all day and you don't take the time to go get more. So I was trying to encourage him to get himself a better water receptacle so he doesn't 
get sick. Oh. But you know how well they listen to mom. <laughs> Austin. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Melissa. We Erica? Erica, we had a great 4th of July. Um, it was pretty pretty uneventful that's a, that's why I said I have to actually do some work today because I didn't yesterday because you know everything was excuse me pretty much closed for the day um, so we just kind of lazed around and I even took a nap yesterday while these two were wrapping my presents and then uh, we did have a storm come through earlier in the day but it was gone by evening and we went out in the pool at night. The water was 84 degrees. And we hung out in the pool it and watched the fireworks. Amazing. It did. It felt amazing. When we first got there, it wasn't cold. For the Thank you, guys. Thank you, Diane. Thank you, Sherry. Yeah, so we got to uh, watch the fireworks from the pool. And you can, too. While night swimming. That was cool. Yeah, Aaron says, and you can, too, if you go replay the live. Carol says, did you have a good breakfast? I heard Anna say you don't have to cook today. So they're working on it right now. Anna's just finished up her breakfast. And now uh, Aaron's getting together the pieces that Anna's going to use to make my breakfast. So they're working together to make breakfast. So I will have breakfast in a bit. Right now I'm having coffee. <laughs> you gotta move all this stuff and then I will eat shortly. Take a Tina says, I enjoyed my nap yesterday. Your second live woke me up. <laughs> oh, she's got some avocado over there. I am excited. Oh, some everything bagel seasoning with no salt. Carol says, late breakfast. I'm ready for lunch already. Well, this is our fairly typical brunch time. Maybe a, we're about probably a half an hour behind. Um, but, yeah. We usually have our brunch about 10.30, 11, sometimes 11.30. Because then Anna starts school at noon. Okay. Are you going to watch me? Yes, Bonnie, I am 45 years old today. Carol, every birthday I swear you look younger. Oh, stop it. That's nonsense. Look, I have like a big old wrinkle that's, you see that? You see that worry line right there? That one's gotten so much worse in the last year. <laughs> and I've got, I've got these crow's feet over here. And these guys here. You know what? I don't even care. <laughs> That's the wonderful thing about it. It's normal, right? That's all part of life. It's all part of life. I don't even care. They don't bother me. I rarely look at myself. <laughs> That's how that's how that's why it doesn't bother me cuz I don't look at myself very often. So why should I care? <laughs> Watch me. I'm making you my No, Missy. I don't have any plans for my birthday. Um just hanging out at home. With the fam, with my loves. What now? Oh, here's some bib. Here's a bib towel. Here you go. I'm gonna put on my glasses so I can see what Anna's doing. I can see you guys up close without them, but I can't see far away without them. Let's see what she's doing. Hi. Everything bagel seasoning and some avocado here, and I'm mashing up your avocado. Yeah, you might want to. It's like the paper towel is going to blow into the food. No, it's not. You tuck it under the edge of the um, tray so we can see what you're doing. Yeah, let me just get this piece right So she's, she's mashing up some avocado for me. Thank you guys. Thank you for all In the big chunks. happy birthdays. Thank you. Thank you. Big chunks. Big chunks! For you, because you like it. I do like it. Oh, careful. I know, I know, I know. Just get out of there. <laughs> Jamelly, why you got a big sigh? Look at that dog. Such a hard life, Jamelly. <laughs> Jamelly's like, I 
okay being a service dog. Leanne says, what kind of dash seasoning is that? It's everything bagel without the salt. So if you love everything bagel seasoning, but you need to watch your salt intake, they have a salt-free, everything but the salt. Is that what it's called? Yep. Yeah, it's everything bagel seasoning minus the salt. Yep. And Anna is mashing up. Almost done. Look at that. Nice mashing. I just poke it with my fork and it soon come off in big chunks. Well, and lay it down kind of sideways and squish it down too, <laughs> like the flat end. Yeah, let Anna know when you want it. Oh no, she can, she can, she can. It's whatever she does. It's gonna be perfect. Because it's made with love, right, Anna? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just smushing it up so it's more mushy. Uh huh. Then, humongous chunks. Which is so Wendy says she has that same rainbow silverware. <laughs> nice. It's always good when you want to be a mermaid. It's always a, a spoon or fork of luck. <laughs> Tina, Jamelli says, I want more of my ice cream for your birthday. <laughs> I bet she does too. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna mash, 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 mash. This is fun. You want me to thank you, thank you guys for the birthday wishes. What'd you say, Anna? You want me to go like do more and bigger ones? Or... It's totally up to you. However, you're gonna do it. I would more like a spoon. Are you? Oh, you would like a spoon? Yeah. Ask Daddy. Daddy. Are you going to be able to spread the goat cheese? Yeah. On the other toast? Yeah? Very easy. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Mary says, love a macaron treat dress. <laughs> <laughs> she does. She does, Chris. Everybody just noticed your nightgown. This yeah. the dessert. Dessert nightgown. I'm going to wear it all day. You're gonna wear it all day? You're class. gonna wear that to class? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Because it's your birthday. It's your birthday and it's sweet treats. You know you like it, so that's why I wore it. So you're gonna it's tell nice. you're gonna tell your classes, I'm wearing my jammies all day because it's my mommy's birthday. <laughs> you can wear your jammies all day. Yeah. <laughs> Should I open mama's card? Sure. I got a card from from my uh my older daughter. It says, for my wonderful mother. Oh, it's really pretty. Look. Aww. Oh, I love these. Oh, I love these. Look. Oh, she sent me a little bouquet of flowers. Oh, my gosh. It's so cute. Look at that, Jamil. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? <laughs> Oh, that is adorable. Does it stay? Does it stay open? Do I need to do anything? Aww. You should put it in the middle of your tray. And keep yeah, it right? So it looks I'm trying to figure out if there's anything I need to do to, like, pop it or if it just, I guess it just stays. Look at that. I have a bouquet of flowers. Oh, Yay! I love Yay! it. Mommy, oh, let's see. Hold on, Jamil. Okay, she says, Happy birthday, Mom. I hope you are doing well and have a day as great as you. I love and miss you. I'm lucky to have a mom as amazing as you. And I appreciate you. You are an awesome person who deserves the most. Enjoy the fireworks. I bet they will be pretty, but not as pretty as you. Lovely Shaw. My baby. I'll have to give her a call later. You should send her a card back. I should send her a card. I did. I sent her a card for her birthday. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's sweet. That's good. I'll give her a call and tell her thank you for the beautiful flowers and the beautiful card. 
Yeah, you're going to be even happier for <coughs> my presents. Yeah? Yeah. I am. Because I have a lot, lot, lot more cool presents. All right. They're amazing. I like these flowers because they don't, they don't go away. You can keep them forever. Yeah, they, they don't have to water them. Right. I don't have to cut them or water them. Prune them. Mm -hmm. I like real flowers too, but this is sweet. This is nice because I can put it on my bookshelf and every time I look at it, I'll think of Mama. Yeah. Okay, well, I think that's pretty mashed up. Can I add this bagel? Pretty well mashed. Can I add the bagel season? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you mix it in. Mix some of it in there. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see how you do. If I can open it. I think you can. I'm certain you can open that. Oh, is it like a, it's just a twisty. Flapping? Does it have a flap or does it twist? Oh, it has a flap. Oh, you that's even easier for you to open. What is that? Probably not. Oh, there you go. You got it. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. Here we go. <clears throat> Woo! And I'll just you, shake you, it out. Yeah, watch it when you lift. The, why don't you lift it over the bowl so it so it doesn't fly away? <coughs> <coughs> uh, are you gonna stir it up? Yeah, I'm gonna start adding, adding it. The, um. I think I should probably have a little bit of avocado with my bagel seasoning. I know. Remember, nobody loves avocado. I'm just adding a lot because I know she loves it too. I'm gonna mix it. I do. Some, I'm I do add love it. Smidge more so it gets like all around in there. Oh, I think that's. I think that's. Um, I think that's definitely gonna get all around in there. Mm, I'm gonna just add that. <laughs> This one is way easier to use when mashing and mixing yeah. avocado. I'm gonna add a, a, a spring, a, just a, a teeny mini bit at the top. At, after that. Yeah, maybe that's a good idea. Stir in what you got there and then just a teeny weeny bit at the top when it's all put together. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna need some help getting this off of my spoon so it goes back into the bowl. And I was waiting to see your face, your reaction. Here, Daddy, you're gonna need to spoon it off. Onto the, you need that. Mm -hmm. onto that. Okay. Now what do you need? Uh, you need some sliced, thinly sliced tomatoes, right? Yeah, Daddy, where's my tomatoes? You need some. Where's my tomatoes? Where's my goat tomatoes? cheese? Yeah. You need some toasted breads. What else? First, this needs to be. I'm gonna go over here in a second. But oh, oh, there's tomatoes. Okay. Nice tomatoes. Nice tomatoes. I'm just gonna have this up Some over there. Some balsamic glaze. I'm just gonna have it up over there so I can have the toast here and it's easier for me. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Got all the fixins. And that's some bread. Yep, yeah, and goat cheese. And then you can spread the goat cheese on one and the avocado on the other. Would you like some goat cheese on your avocado one too? Carol says, holy moly, in just four months, Anna will be eight years old. Yikes. Whoa. That's insanity. You guys, can you... Oh, you were just three. What happened? How did five years go by already? I don't understand. I'm going to cry. <laughs> There's no way I can shrink back down unless you make a doll of me. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to make, I'm going to have someone make a reborn doll of you. And then I'll just go, I'll just go catatonic and just snuggle the, my Anna baby for the rest of my life. 
so I can just do whatever I want. I'll just I'll just rock. I'll sit on the couch all day and rock my That's Anna baby. So <laughs> my baby. I know. This goes by too fast. Well, I know it does feel like we were just at Disney for her birthday. <laughs> Like it, it, it really wasn't. I mean, how, how? I don't what? understand how. Why in the world is there a female sign on this? A female sign? Yes. What do you mean? There's a picture of a female sign. I don't know. <laughs> High school, college, then gone. Mm, stop it! I'm so sad. <laughs> my last baby there's no more there's a thousand more babies that are being born right now after after she gets all grown up then I get to spend time with my other baby your old baby Jamali? daddy oh <laughs> yeah that's right cause I'll do it the biggest baby <laughs> <laughs> we have to find some trouble to get into. Why do you want to get into trouble? Carol says she'll get married and live with you. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't mind that as long as she has like a separate living space. Where is my double? Wait till she's double digits. That's when I cried with my three kids. They're all adults now. I know, Doreen. Well, I mean, I have a, a 25 and a 28-year-old. And that, to me, like, thinking about, I'm like, what? My my young, or my oldest is almost 30? Like, what? That's mind-blowing. Ooh. Oh, jeez. So, you take one bread away. I'll, I'll I'm so hungry. I'll do one bread first. Okay. I'm so excited. And I just well, can't I hide question. it. I have a question, Mommy. I know, I know, I know. I I'm getting question. avocado I toast. I have a question. Would you like some goat cheese in your avocado? No, I think the two separate. Yeah, okay. sounds good. Okay, so. I'm going to do the goat cheese one first. So there's one more plate. We'll put that, yeah, put that on the tray. Careful, careful. We don't, need to dump. We don't want to dump that on the rug. That would be not good. Do you have a spoon to to flatten that goat cheese into that toast? Do you need a spoon? Mm, yeah. No. <clears throat> you can use this, you can use I, that other I can, spoon. I can use my hands. You're gonna use your hands yeah. to squish the goat cheese into the toast? Yeah. I will do that. Just don't worry about me. <laughs> don't need that. I don't need Just that. I don't need that. Just don't worry about me. I don't need this. All right. Well, set it aside just in case. Yes, Anna is making my brunch, Michelle. I'll put it on here. Okay. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Go ahead. I'm fine. I don't care. Would you like me to use all of this? Um, you know what? Just put it on and squish it in and see how it goes. Maybe you won't need it all. Maybe you will. I've never had goat cheese. What does it taste like? Um, it's really hard to describe. Tangy. It is tangy. It has a little bit of a, of a, almost like a, Oof. it's not the same, it's not the same flavor tang that yogurt has, but it's a similar kind of tang. Um, it is very smooth and creamy, very creamy. It's kind of like cream cheese consistency. It is kind of like the consistency of cream cheese. Yes, Aaron is correct. Uh, but it has that has that tang to it and it has a it has a goaty flavor. I don't know how to, a goat? it tastes like goat. I don't know how to describe it. It's got it's is got goat, a is goat like sweet? Is it red? it's got a very unique flavor profile to it. I'll just say that. Um but it it's something that I don't think it takes, you know, sometimes people are like taste averse to certain things and I think that um if you like cheeses, if you like feta cheese, you'll probably like it. Um, if you like, I'm trying to think, 
Um, Brie is does not have as sharp of a flavor profile. Brie is actually very mild compared to goat cheese. I'm trying to think of something that has more of a bite to it. <laughs> goats. Jim says goats smell. <laughs> well, goat cheese smells too. <laughs> so there you go. I'm smashing this together and making it. Oh, see, yeah, the spoon came in handy, huh? Yeah. Huh. Huh. How about that? <laughs> it came in handy only when I'm just smashing this together. It does have a strong flavor. That is that is very true. Um, so, yeah, you can, you know. I, that, yeah, probably smooth that all out. Yeah, okay. I'm just putting it in a pile so it can smooth it out. Okay. Yeah, I don't know that you would need too much more than that if you can get that to spread out. Cover the goat cheese with smoked salmon. We do have a little bit of smoked salmon, but I, w I would like half of it just plain goat cheese with the tomato and balsamic too. But yeah, I'll take the salmon on the other half. We have just a little bit of salmon left. We made uh, the other day, what did we make with the salmon? Oh, we made those sushi sandwiches. Yeah, you can stand up. You'll probably have to do that at the end, baby. I don't think it's, she... It's easier for me to smash this up when I'm standing. Okay. That makes sense. You put put your body weight into it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, goat cheese is good with strawberry. Yeah, it is. Oh, look at my baby made me an egg in a basket. Thank you. You can start eating that. Well, I don't want to eat on the live. I'm gonna I'm gonna let them watch you make my toasts, and then uh, I'll say goodbye to everybody. Kay says, "Does Anna ever play in that kitchen?" Oh, absolutely. She loves her play kitchen. She plays in it all the time. It looks so small now. She does seem very tall for it. Um, it's actually, this is this age and this height is probably the best height to be using that because then it's more like. There's a good, a good height. Yeah, she seems to like it. I've talked to her a couple times about raising it up, and she keeps telling me not yet. So, uh, but we will at some point. We'll put some um, things underneath it. You see the the shelf unit that's over there, that white one. You can get those just like the three uh, cubbies in a row. And I think if I do that, I can put the kitchen on top of it and boost it up for her. I'm and definitely can... going to have to use all of this because it's going to cover half. Yeah. Oh, you have to use all of it? Yeah. Because that mm -hmm. only covers half when it's all spread out. Because I can't spread it out. You can't spread it any anymore? Okay, that's fine. You can put a little bit more on there. I. It reminds me, I want to raise, I need to raise up her school desk. Her legs are just getting so long. Mary says goat cheese rolled in blueberries and chopped walnuts spread on crackers. Ooh. Yeah, goat cheese goes really well with a lot of things. You can goat cheese with mushrooms and onions is very good. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with it. It's very tasty in many dishes. I'm making your breakfast and I've never really done this before. I like uh, my favorite pizza that I make for myself has goat cheese on it. It's um, pizza crust with a pesto base. And then you put uh, goat cheese and feta cheese all over it. And then you put garlic and mushrooms and spinach. And that is just my favorite, favorite, favorite pizza. No, we, we get our goat cheese from Costco. Comes in like a two pack. Okay, can I have this higher while I'm just going a little higher? Mm, no, there's no way to do that. But if you need it higher, what, it would make more sense for you to sit down so you're closer to it. Oh, it's. Do you want daddy to just help you spread the rest of that real quick so you can do the, the yeah, avocado sure. one? Baby, she, she needs a hand. She's spread it. She spread it out like almost all the way, but she just needs a little bit of help for the last part. Mm. 
Shirley says, I tried the pesto and I like it. Oh, yeah, pesto is... Pesto's pes- the best though. Yeah, pesto. <laughs> That's what Aaron always says. Pesto is the best though. Yes. It's delicious. Pesto is great. Pesto is the best though. Yeah, that's another thing. You could make a toast with, with goat cheese and you could put pesto on it. And you could sprinkle some Parmesan and you could... Maybe we could make a, a pizza Put toast. some tomatoes on that. That would be delicious too. A pizza toast. You can make your favorite pizza without toast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what, what we're going next? So next would be some tomatoes. Okay, I like some tomatoes. And then some, a little bit of everything bagel seasoning, and then some of that balsamic glaze. Yep. Daddy, can I have everything bagel seasoning back? Why did you take it away? Well, he was just moving it out of the way for a minute. You can have it back after um, you put the tomatoes on there, and then spread the avocado on the other toast, and then you can have it back because you'll have you'll sprinkle it on both, right? Yes. So it makes sense to do it at the same time. Okay. Kimberly says you're making her hungry. <laughs> I could make you some, Kimberly. <laughs> okay, and she's gonna sprinkle. Some. I am, Carol. I'm I'm ready to eat. <laughs> There we go. There goes the tomatoes. There she goes. Tomatoes on my toast. <laughs> Using her two hands. Are you going out for birthday dinner? No, Emily. We don't go out to eat. We, we're still... Uh, Staying away from crowds of people indoors so we don't go out to eat. Save half of it for the I don't want to get sick on my birthday. That does not sound like a good time. I'm saving some of it. I don't know what we're doing for dinner. That's, yeah, save some for the, the avocado. I'm not going to be able to cut another one, so. There. Okay. And then you got to move the tomato plate out of the way so you can. So I can what? You can move that glaze out of the way too, babe, for a minute. You put the other toast next to there and sh- and then spread the avocado on there. Then can you move this one? Cause I, I, can't, I can't have them both on here. Okay, that's okay. That. You can set it up there. I can't reach that. All right, here we go again. Yeah, What's in the it. bottle? Um, balsamic glaze. It's balsamic glaze. I'll show you. <laughs> Carol says, now I want an avocado. See, sprouts organic glaze with balsamic vinegar. So it's like balsamic vinegar, but it's a little bit thicker. So you just drizzle it on top of things. It's good. I can't. I can't. I can't get it off my spoon. You need like another spoon to. <laughs> I can't do that because I can't hold the bowl. Oh, okay. I just. Mm-hmm. Can you push me and put the setting? And I cannot use another spoon, so I'm not going to need that. I'm just going to knock it off, close it here, and then you can spread it. Right? Okay, yeah. But I have to put it all on it. I'm just getting it off of there so you can do it. I can do it. It's coming together. It's coming together. Julie says, I love Dave's killer bread. Is that what this is? Uh, I think this is brownberry. Arnold. Arnold? Daddy. Daddy. I'll hold this. You just get up. All right. We'll check back in with the avocado toast in a moment. <laughs> Susan, oh, Sean, sorry. See, this I, Sean, Heather. It's Heather. It's Heather. I have to take my glasses off to see you guys when you comment. I can't. If I wear my glasses and I have my phone this close to my face, the comments look all blurry. But I can't see anything beyond the phone without them. Um, 
Heather, you wish you liked avocado. You've tried it and you just can't get into it, huh? It's an acquired taste. Anna says it's an acquired taste, which means keep trying it. I think it's true because uh, Anna didn't used to like it when she was little. And every time I would have it, I would give her some anyway. And so she acquired a taste for it over time, and now she actually loves it. Julie says, I never liked it either, but I love it now. Yeah, I think if you just keep just keep trying it every so often, eventually one of these times it'll be like a, a switch flips in your taste buds. Now, unless you have an issue with the texture, I don't think it'll help with texture issues. <laughs> no, because some people have, you know, issues with certain textures of food. Like, uh, my son can't eat raw tomatoes at all, no matter what. He's tried them every which way from Sunday, and he just pepper. can't. Black pepper. And that never goes away. Black pepper. Tanya, you don't like cream cheese or goat cheese? Do you like the anything, cheese? anything like creamy and spready like that, or just those two? <coughs> Yeah, avocados are, are, they are good for you. In moderation, like anything. Can you just help me with this? Nancy, it took you a while to like avocado. Yeah. I think, I really think that's the same with anything. As long as it's a flavor issue and not a texture issue, um, I think you can make yourself get used to anything just by eating it over and over until your taste buds get used to it. Okay, so now it's tomato time. Yeah, Julie, I didn't like to. Uh, I didn't used to like blue cheese either when I was little, and I do. I love it now, also. Whitney, you don't like mushrooms because of the texture. That makes sense. What the texture that I don't like is, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a, it's like between, somewhere between the texture of pudding and the texture of a thick oatmeal. It's like in the middle of those two consistencies. Mm. Like I cannot handle like wet, watery oatmeal, like where it's just a little bit lumpy, but mostly watery. I do not like that at all. Like cream of wheat, Aaron. Aaron loves it. I I cannot do that. I had a big bowl of grits yesterday. That was great. Well, grits I can handle because they're dry. They're like drier. They're like thicker. Um, if you add stuff. But if you add a bunch of like cream or whatever or like milk, oh, no. I that's why I think that's why I like small curd cottage cheese, but I do not like large curd cottage cheese. Because it's that same kind of like really watery. The texture of tapioca. Yeah, I'm not a fan, Joe. Like I love pudding and custard, but not tapioca. Mm -mm. I do like grits. And I like them with, you know, some butter. and But I just don't like them with, uh, some people mix them with like milk and make them more creamy. I don't like that. No cottage cheese for you at all. <laughs> Tanya's like, nope, no cottage cheese. Oh yeah, Claire cilantro is another one that causes a huge divide because well, yeah, the, some people can't help it. They taste, they taste, it tastes soapy to them. So, like cilantro is like either you love it or you hate it. I know, that's true, Michelle. It's a good thing that there's a lot of variety in food so people can can uh, gravitate towards what they like. Linda, you mix grits with your scrambled eggs? Aaron would like that. Do 
Yeah, I do miss, um, I miss the Michigan brand small curd cottage cheese. That's my favorite, and we, we can't get it down here. Jim, you don't have grits in Minnesota? I'm pretty sure you can get grits anywhere. I've seen them in California. I think just you, in the, the section that has what do you mean you don't have grits in Minnesota? He's like, we don't let no grits in around here. It's, it's <laughs> there's a law. Cheese yeah. only. No grits. <laughs> um, okay. I'm sure you can find them at the grocery. There has to be some Not restaurants stuff. that make them. Oh, sorry. Next step. You ready? Yeah. Okay. All right. So now you've got tomato on both toasts. Okay. Nice. So now you're going to do the everything bagel seasoning, right? you got to put them next to each other. No, on I'm the... doing the everything bagel seasoning at the very end. No, this is the very end. This is the end. After I add all the rest of the stuff, like right when I'm giving it to you. I'll well, what else is going on there? The glaze goes on the very top. The salmon, I guess, could go on half of the the. I'll do this but thing. Daddy's got to do that because yeah, it's it's too, it's too and yeah. And oily. But you could put those next to each other on the tray, and it so she can. Uh, season Balsamic. Yeah, season both of them at the same time. I don't need black pepper and all. Yeah. Everything black bagel seasoning is fine. She doesn't want it since her birthday. Thank you. This looks so great. I'm so hungry. <laughs> You're welcome. Are you going to share some of this with oh, me? Hey, Google, what time is it? Do you have time? Oh, time. I have it. Are you going to share some of this with me? Sure, but I have to find out what the time is. Hey, Google, what time is it? It's 12.29 p.m. That was 15 minutes. Yeah, you can have a few bites with me. I have about 15 minutes, Daddy. It's fine. It's okay. What do you worry about? Okay, now it's balsamic glaze time. Balsamic glaze. Oh, no, you need the everything bagel seasoning. No, I do everything bagel seasoning at the very end after the balsamic glaze. That's what I usually do. You've never made this before. <laughs> yeah, you've never made yeah, this before. That's what I usually. would usually do. Yeah, right. Go. When? Sprinkle. It's time. I can do that, too. Go. You're running out of time. You're not going to have time to eat anything. These are Thank you, guys. These are my birthday toasts she's working on. <laughs> that's... That's good. Should there's some on here? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. You can do the the whole toast. I know. Let me stand up. It's easier. Got it. The, the salmon. Yeah, All right, Anna. That's good for that. Yeah. Okay. Put the rest of the salmon on there and then just on the one half. And then we'll glaze it up. I'm ready to glaze it. I'm ready to glaze it? I'm so ready. I'm so ready to eat it. <laughs> this could be a maraca. What? This could be a maraca. It could be a maraca, but be careful. Yeah, it's not explode that all over. Let's put that down before that decides to pop open and fly everywhere. All right, you want to help her with the, because I don't think she's going to be able to squeeze it, and I don't want it to get yeah. too much. I, I'll try first. Let daddy, let, daddy, let daddy help you with that part. Because it's sticky and runny. And if you put too much, it's not Yeah, it's be just a little, nice. like that. Just a little fancy drizzle. Woo, that's it! Alright. Yay! Thank you. You're so welcome. Okay, now it's time, now it's time to give eat. You it. I'll bring it over there. Alright, let's say goodbye to everyone. 
And then we'll sit down and eat together. Yeah. Enjoy our, our quick 10 minutes before your class starts. Yeah, you're going to be really excited when you open your presents. Yeah, that'll be later today. Yeah, but you're going to be super excited. Okay. Because there's lots of really cool things for you. Look at this array of, of birthday toasts. I've got an egg in a basket toast. I've got a beautiful avocado toast. And a beautiful goat cheese toast with some salmon. All made by my favorite babies. And my babes. That. And yes, and the beautiful. I'll have to take, you know what? I'll take a picture and send it to the Mama so she can see one. her flowers on there. Yeah. The All right. Tell everybody bye. We'll see them later. Goodbye. 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 She just froze. <laughs> Bye. We'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for all the happy birthdays. We'll check in with you later today. Bye.